crazy stuff cooking up in the shop. Uh, I'm sure everybody will love to see. We've got Connor, uh, a newcomer to the scene, but has been popping off recently, and I'm um, very excited to see both of them play. They've both been playing um, fantastic as of late. So, yeah. What do you uh, expect to see out of this match, Big Daddy? What I'm, what I'm looking forward to seeing this matchup is Will Pool Boy, like in the, in the group stage, not miss a single shot, because what I've seen in his matches is he just makes everything. Like, every offensive opportunity he has, he just scores. <laughs> yeah, that's if Pool Boy stops trying to style too much. And we'll see if the Pool Boy of old who tries too hard to look really cool and score two or three cool goals instead of just taking the normal stuff. But, um, yeah, I think I think it'll be a really good match. And I think it's just kind of what version of Pool Boy we get. Um, I think Kong has been very consistent. He, his offense normally is kind of like my offense, which is like, uh, you know, goes for a lot of keeper knockouts. And he's very good at them. So it'll be really interesting to see how Pool Boy reacts with item usage um, and the such. But, yeah. Because whoever wins this is going to play the winner of Dank and Nolbear, so that'll be a spicy round 16 matchup. Yeah, we've got it right off the rip here. We've got Cool Boy taking a, an early shot, but um, Connor has the early lead uh, in items at least, and he's going to go immediately for the keeper knockout. Unlucky to knock an item and only had Shroom there to not really cause uh, any further damage. Cool Boy kind of lucky to get out of that without a goal. There's a goal. But there's a goal right there, and this is exactly kind of the, the game plan that Connor will cook up. It's going to be corner shots to get items, and then using the, using those items to try to convert on Keeper Suns, as we saw him try to do earlier. So Pool Boy's going to do his little dribbling fancy thing. Eventually, he's good enough to get the shot off, which is good. Um, but yep, Connor's going to try to go for a goes for a lob there. A little stop and go lob. In. Yep, and is able to pop it in. That's pretty beautiful right there for Connor. Pool Boy, though, able to respond immediately. The item off of a goal is one of the most... Just disappointing things to see, but uh, for Connor at least. But what was able to bring it back? Yeah, I believe when I made my prediction, I think I had uh, Connor winning this in six. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. It's definitely. I think this this will go, this game will go very large. I think both players play with a lot of pizzazz, so it'll be fun to see. We'll see some really cool goals here and a great mushroom right there to kind of uh, pop him into a, a corner spot opportunity. No rebound there, but at least gets the item. Interesting they're not using the grass texture. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, that's on that's on whoever is uh, recording this. Uh, oh, hi, yeah, that, that. Yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Who am I going for the chip here? That's all. It's those chips are tough because you never know whether to go with the uh, the breakaway chip or the normal angle. He's able to hit it nonetheless, and phenomenal. There's an interesting choice. I know that Pool Boy normally doesn't like to hit um, when people are in the air taking those long shots. He's, he decides to yeah. hit this one instead. And this is the reason why Pool Boy does not like to hit, because he does not like to give up items to a dangerous player like Connor. And there we go. That, that's some classic Pool Boy duking off Rip, trying to go for some fancy shit. That is the reason he will lose this game. But and he gets cool. punished for it immediately. I love to see the attempt, though. I love to see the attempt. Yeah, I love to see the, the attempt. They're interesting map choice. I did not think they would go with a pipeline here for game one. Yeah, so I um, I, I would believe that Connor would, would be the one picking at this one. So, yeah, because uh, he, he was the better seed. Yeah, so, and you, I mean, we can see why Connor's hitting their chips. They both are very talented at chips, but I think picking a... So, well, I guess we'll have to see. Maybe Connor thought that he just had the... Uh, better ability to get into chip range, which is he's shown so far. Yeah, next next match, if this result holds, I think Pool Boy should go to uh, Palace. That's his, probably his best map. Yeah, Pool Boy is uh, one of the better Palace chippers around, so I um, I think that would be a really good map for him. But um, he's got two minutes and two and a half minutes here to, to kind of figure it out. And we see Connor with another corner stun here. Um, he's going to go for it again. No, he's just going to go for the safe chip there. And he's a great use of the bomb. Yep, and is able to convert on that chip. And there we go. The cool boy is able to uh, switch up his little kickoff uh, attack. Kind of going for the European here. And he's just going to... Just, oh, he's still going to get it, though. Still going to get it. Scoring a lot of goals. He might get that golden boot at this rate. Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll see um, what changes cool boy is going to want to make up. It looks like Connor's just uh, using his offensive items very well. Um, and we'll see if uh, there's going to be any changes here. Boy might have to go with his uh, Hammer Brothers in the next game. His uh, specialty. 
I don't know about that one, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll 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 see. Uh, you you got to go with works. You sometimes do have to the weather isn't. Sometimes the meta isn't the best play. If you go with Hammer Brothers, just stick with it. Yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see what it goes with here. But um, okay, there we go. Getting some good beaks on. This is a pool boy of old. Um, but again, he's coming out with uh, no defensive items, and that uh, looks like it's going to burn him again. And that oh, it's not going to. Ball does wow. not roll in there. Keeper with a pretty freaking play. But nonetheless, Connor is going to get the ball, the rebound, and the chip. Connor is pouring on the goals here, trying to make sure he gets that goal differential for no reason because we're not in group stages. But you know, it's oh, a knockout. So he's only trying to get the golden boot right now. He's trying to uh, surpass Pi, who's currently in the lead. Okay. Yeah, Pi well, was it? Pi was able to four Omi, so he <laughs> basically. He's in the lead for both. He actually got two shutouts on me, so he's got the golden glove, too. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pooley looked like he's going for the uh, the the keeper geek. Is he going to try it again? And he is going to try it again. Well, I don't know if that was too strangle for sliding keepers too far out. But either way, did not pay off for him. And oh, another chip. Yeah, Connor Pulp's one of the only chips he's plugged. He was uh, very on it with the chip this game. No one down there for a pool boy, so he's forced to pass it way back further than he probably wanted. And Connor's got the, the items out. I don't know what he's going to go already? for. Connor's going to go for his own own kind of fanciness. And it looks like he's just setting up for next uh, game. Yeah. This is only game one, so he's still got plenty of time to make a comeback here. But I'm, if nothing changes game two, I'm, I'm fairly certain game three will be a must win for pool boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you never want to go down um, too many games yeah. in these kind of series, um, especially uh, just with uh, how good Connor is and, you know, forcing yourself to have to win multiple games in a row with, you know, how RNG can be sometimes is a pain. But I think that Pooboy's played, he's confident, he's played well in the past, so I, I think, you know, 9-2, whatever, it's one game down. And um, let's see what he can do with the next one. Yeah, he's going to Palace here, trying to stop uh, Connor's chip on slot. Now, Connor, again, his offense also is a lot with keeper knockouts, so I think we'll probably see a lot more of those from Connor. And Pool Boy is very good at the palace chip, so it'll be interesting to see in a lower scoring game. Yeah, much lower scoring game in this one. I'm yeah, predicting uh, that Pool Boy is going to win this one and tie it 1 1. All right, well, love to see that. I'd love to see as much SMS as possible. He goes for the quick shot off there. Beautiful defense there. We do by both players there to force turnovers into the wall. Yeah. And Connor some good movement there to try to get the ball in front. He does. He's going to go for the charged, not just taking the easy uh, overhead pass. Yeah. Not really get much out of it. Very good shot there to gain the item. Yeah, full boy um, lost position there, and Connor was able to take advantage of it. Let's see if Connor decides to use an item. He doesn't. Full um, boy almost got that chip on. It was an interesting descent by Connor. Connor has had two items, but he decided not to use any of them there. And he uses them both here to no avail. Well, let's see if he's probably saving them for the again. offense. Yeah. I think that's the best when you want to use your items on offense rather than defense. Generally speaking, I, I agree, but I think when you've got two items there, sometimes it's best to make sure your opponent can't get a good shot off and cause the break. But we'll see. They're both going for Palace Chips here, and no one's hit one yet. Yeah, no, uh, no, Pulver with the aggressive no. item here. Is he going to go for the slide? This is his uh, favorite angle to do the slide from. That was a good shot. Yeah, but hopefully we can get a seven-game series here for the fans. For the fans. We'll see. We'll get some fan service out here. Yeah, yes yeah, yesterday's series was insane calling Marmar versus Wada. Marmar almost pulled off the, the upset and eliminated Wada. <laughs> That would have been something else. Last a series I could not see live, but I'm sure you did it justice with the call. Yeah, then how? Oh, boy. That, it was a late one. It was that 10 p.m. EST is when we, when we kicked off. <laughs> okay, pool boy again. He's being very good about being the first one to item there. That is an interesting shot. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to see a replay of that, but uh, yeah, he. Uh, okay. 
Beautiful items are to make sure that uh, Connor wasn't going to be able to get control of that ball in a goal. But Connor still yeah. got two items here. Um, and sadly, Poolboy isn't able to force him to burn any of them. But Connor should be able to get any shot he kind of wants here. And he does, and he gets and a goal. Wow. What a shot. Critter almost got to that one. That would have been a huge stop for Poolboy. But he's got some yeah. stuff going on his own. Again, knowing that Connor's really not iteming uh, defensively at all this game. I think he just knows that it's Palace and it's hard to score and that not many shots are going to go in, so why waste the item? Yeah, I think that's a, a valid strategy. And I mean, if we're obviously working for him defensively, he's uh, he's only let in one goal. And right there, he's able to use those items and um, get the uh, second goal. Oh boy, yeah, so always get... going for something crazy off kickoff there. Not able to get it. This is the big African showdown between Ivory Coast and Chili's <laughs> as their countries and their rapping. Indeed, indeed. Only, only one will remain supreme of Africa. Oh, that almost went in off the post. Oh, keepers down. Is that, is that it's kind of all one for Connor, and he's oh. not able to capitalize on that, which is sad. The unlucky shell bouncer forcing him to uh, not get the uh, rebound. But well, Boobo's all alone. Great uh, stream by Connor, finally using an item yep. defensively to. Where's the shot out? Where's the shot out? Another shot that <laughs> doesn't go in. That, that happens yeah, a lot, those corner yeah. shots. Connor's taking a lot of good corners and only really got, I think, one corner to drop. Um, but he's yeah. got two bananas now. Let's see if he's where he decides to use them. Yeah. I think bananas are good to, to have in your arsenal. Right, he doesn't even have to use any of them. Um, he's able yeah, to get he that third it's basically Absolutely. luck involved on Palace when you're shooting from the corner without yeah, small yeah. balls. I call it the Palace Lottery. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But, you see, great red shells there. Not able to get the slide to drop. And let's see how Connor is uh, using these, these bananas. There. He's careful of the uh, spiny that old boy had. And this result holds and goes up too. We might see... We might see Pooboy go to Crater. A very favorable stage for Yoshi. Um, yeah, I, I know Pooboy personally doesn't is not a big Crater fan. So, um we'll we'll see. We'll see what he goes with here. I think he played pretty well on um on Palace. He just uh he just it's these corner shots that are killing him. Uh Connor's done a very good job of dribbling around Pooboy's defense. And uh the fact that Connor isn't really using the items defensively. Oh Pooboy getting some crazy stuff, but not dropping. And looks like Connor's going for some crazy stuff too. Uh, both these players like to show off a little bit. You know, everybody's yeah. got to put in their uh, nomination for the strikeies here. Um, but yeah, I think Connor's reluctance to use defensive items and Poolboy only really scoring one goal. Is, and uh, well, there we go. There's the palace ship, the first Here's one. The uh, and we'll see if, if that gives uh, Poolboy the confidence to maybe go to Palace <laughs> again. Earlier, I think it was a. I think it was your Friday or Saturday when it was Slosh versus um, Milo, I think. Slosh had like a, he literally ran around the goalkeeper and then put it in. And that was like the goal of the year nomination. Indeed. I think ever since the uh, the Strikers debuted, everyone's been going for their own clips and keeping them. And that Slosh one was one of the craziest ones I've seen of all and time. Like running it back. Yeah. And it looks like um, a quick goal for Connor there. I think Full Boy did a lot better. Um, that game. Oh, he's able to get some cheese of his own. Some fat, <laughs> fat uh, mozzarella right there. But, um, again, just giving up a lot of corners here to Connor. Connor with two items here. Is he, um, or his cool boy to burn one. Let's see if he's using them on defense or if he's going to save them for the offense. It looks like he doesn't have to. Really good uh, stifling defense there by Connor. Connor's going to go for the slide. Oh, he's going to get it. Couldn't get the still, shot before. Keeps two item advantage. Some beautiful dribbling by Poolboy using the wall to his advantage here. That's another, but that's not another able to get a shot off. Thing. Palace is a smaller map, so you can use that to your advantage. And the only shot he's able to get off is a uncharged law, which means he's not able to get an item to be able to respond to Connor. Connor's able to score and uh, keep his item advantage. That is crucial. 
And this is going to be... Bull Boy seems to be rushing a lot of things right now. Uh, he might be frustrated by seemingly getting looped over and over by Connor. It feels like Bull Boy hasn't had him advantage in a while. But he just yeah. got to play this flow here and make sure that he's getting good quality shots off. Yeah, and that's to get exactly. him. Connor going out to a 3-0 start potentially. I did not see that. There's a good early banana usage there by Pool Boy. It's already loop of his own. And it looks like Connor used a banana there late, but is able to get a corner shot off of his own. Yeah, I'm doing something. Oh. Good shot. Three to two. Wow. Tight game here. There he is. Uh, one of Connor's first defensive items there. He's, uh, he uses a triple reds. I mean, he tries to go for a, a shroom goal. I don't know if he was going for a slip and slide there or a keeper deke or trying to do something crazier than Slot did there, but did not work out for him. Yep. Yeah. They're not done yet. They're not done yet. Fully dribbling around in the backfield here. Waiting for his opportunity to try to get a good shot off there. Not able to, and he turns it all over. Connor might be able to make him pay on this one. But what a slide tackle there, covering an insane amount of range. Let's hope that Poolboy can get a shot off here uh, to get an item really? in. He isn't able to, and I think that's a lot of the time. So when I play Poolboy, that's his problem is he'll uh, dribble a lot to, or, uh, a lot, and won't go come out with a shot. And um, if you don't come up with a shot on the offensive end, you're going to lose item advantage really quickly. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Good clearance there. But what a find there. He's gonna he's got the Yoshi. Unlucky that the slide doesn't drop. This is still a tight game, winnable for anyone. Beautiful recognition on the breakaway chip, but it's palace, so sometimes those things just aren't gonna drop. Where's your new Totally the dead body block here. But oh and gets the stun and cool boy uses the item, panic item at the end. That's painful. That I'm sure you you're not expecting the keeper to be stunned there and maybe mashing a little bit, but yeah. it's uh, painful to see it come out at the very end. Oh, good pass! Yeah, that was a beautiful crit in there by Connor, knowing that um, he was going to have to get the space for the uh, the toad or the daisy. And Cooler with a probing pass there, and a beautiful steal, but not able to get a shot off or capitalize. Good block by the toad. He, so he puts his toad in front of it. But what I've seen a lot of the times is, like, if you block it with the toad, it, the ball rebounds a little bit more favorably, and that your critter seems to be out of position a little bit more. So sometimes it's actually kind of dangerous to block it with the toad. Uh, yeah. But, and in that case, so you saw how what happened. The critter was out of position, and the ball bounced uh, right to Connor for the putback. I mean, unlucky trade there for Pool Boy. Not able to get the shot off. Connor going for the juke. Trying to get something pretty here. He's up four goals. I think he feels like he's got the space for it. Yeah. Most definitely. And just absolutely smothering all these passes out by um, Pool Boy. Really, really just playing some, some phenomenal defense and being able to turn defense into offense. It's basically been Connor's uh, game plan here. Yeah. Great counter attacking on both matches on Palace for Connor. Oh, got it. He got what he's going for. He doesn't even need a replay for that one. That was a great goal by Connor. Um, beautiful. He's used the shrooms and a quick little deke. Let's see if he's going to go for something again here. No, just a pass. He's, uh, and he's still going to put it in there. Wow. Connor is playing hot right now. He's getting some, some shots to drop. He is. And Pooh is going to need to find some magic in, in that hat for for game four if he wants to keep this series alive. Yep, yeah, I think he's taking his time to think now, trying to figure out. I think a, a lot of his, um, a lot of the goals that Connor is scoring is, are just off counterattacks, um, which is, you know, a very common thing in SMS. And it's a lot of the turnovers that Pool Boy is causing. You know, Pool Boy is doing a lot of long off-screen pieces and Connor's punching for it. So I wonder if um, Pool Boy is going to take some time to think. No, he's not. He's going to hop right back into the game. Um, and let's see where it goes from here. We've got, is this game four here? Connor with a 3-0 lead, but Pool Boy with a 1-0 lead in the game here. 
already off the rip is a beautiful shot. And he's got the Yoshi downfield. He elects to use the bomb um, to get a shot with the Toad. Oh, what a deep there. And he's going to find the Yoshi downfield. He's got a second goal immediately. Great start for Pool Boy in this comeback. Indeed. And so now he's got to be careful here because Connor's coming to the corner with the, the blue shells. But Pool Boy with a beautiful shell there to get both of uh, Connor's players. Yeah, I would have thought Pool Boy would have done a map change after being down 3-0 to, to see if that would help. But I guess he wanted to go back on pounds. Yeah, it's it's always hard. I mean, if your opponent's scoring eight goals on Palace, they're probably going to score more than they're going to score a lot of goals anywhere. So sometimes you just got to stick with Whiskey. You know, he I know he loves Palace, um, and that's some beautiful passing right there. Just goes for the safe corner shot. Uh, not going to risk anything else. Just wants the item. Kind of going for the European there. Waits a little bit on the wall for his toe to get down there, which is a really smart play. But and uh, again, Pool Boy's made the adjustment here to make sure he's getting shots off. Unlucky, Daisy faces through those shells. And beautiful bananas there to just snuff out that uh, rebound opportunity. Yep. Here comes As you can see, the pool boy's been shooting a little bit more often, and he's um, been able to control the pace of the game a little bit better with uh, item advantage, which I think is just a, such a huge thing. Although, as I say that now, he is down two items to one. Yeah, but he could play a little more defensive as he's up two goals now. Whereas... Connor's probably going to be more aggressive to try to finish this series in four games rather than prolong. Oh, what a what a dribbling move there. He's going to go for the another up of the box shot. That's his second of the of the game. And none of those were dropping earlier, but they're dropping now. So better late than never. Although, what a dribbling expertise there by Connor. I think that might have been an inch step. That's exactly where you want to put those corners. Exactly. Don't call the comeback. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, not, and he's got Yoshi. Yoshi whips it. That is heartbreaking. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Cool boy saw going a three goal lead there, which would have been beautiful. On rebound, but instead in. Connor is able to convert on the rebound and gets the star. That's heartbreaking for Cool Boy. Are you gonna use it, or are you gonna be gentlemen and not use the star? Generally, I've seen a lot of people use the star. The chomp there, on the other hand, the little bean eventually should be banned. Uh, I don't think that's that hot of a take. It's absolutely ridiculous that you can get a you get essentially guaranteed goal um, when you're only down one. But yeah, I personally use the chomp. I, <laughs> I, they, I know. If if you're playing a competitive game, I you know, do what you got to do. Here we've got um, Connor hasn't used the star in a while and it's kind of sitting and taking up an item slot here. But oh, it's probably gonna get the, what a weird rebound off of the shell. But he's probably just gonna wait. He's probably gonna try to get a tying goal and then use it to take the lead. Well, good way to get the shot off by Pool Boy. Um, again, th that was uh, that's an adjustment I, I like that he made earlier this game. Oh, he, but would he use Connor. the star there? Yeah. Forcing, uh, waiting for Pool Boy point. to get the items, um, and then forcing a, a waste of an item for Pool Boy and Connor's going to get the star in the goal. That's um, that's that's exactly the moment he was waiting for, and he got it. And now Connor's got basically any shot he wants. An interesting choice to take that cross, especially when he had another red shell to use. I felt like he could have uh, gotten the stun on there for, but yeah, there's a reason he's playing it, not me. So. Oh, oh, the whiff on the on the, wow. yeah, the the shot, and but the oh the oh boy. I think the shotgun spread on the uh, I think it's RNG whether the the shells go or the triples go in a line or in a shotgun spread, and unlucky no, that they that missed there. The the bell, and he keeps, like, Let's see if uh, Pool Boy's going to use a shroom here. He's going to throw some restraint and uses it right before Daisy's probably going to put in an equalizer. A lot closer both players, games. Yeah, both players sprayed mushrooms here, and Pool Boy out with a one-goal lead with a minute left. He tries to navigate around the banana. is not able to do so. But And now there's a turnover in his backfield. Connor's going to go immediately back to the corner shot, but not able to get it off in time. Oh, what a deep by Pool Boy. Is he going to go for the, the two-goal lead with the chip? Oh, my goodness. He wasn't able to just pop that one in there. I don't know if he aimed it at the keeper or if Connor's able to get a player in front, but... Cool boy's panicking now, trying to get as many shots off there. Yep, he uh, had a great position there with a frozen toad and any shot he wanted, but wasn't able to score off that triple red. So, 
stopped on his corner shot. Connor not putting the, the bananas in the right spot. So now we've got Pool Boy coming down with a one on one with the keeper. He's going to juke it. He's going to dig it. He's going to score it. What a goal by Pool Boy to put this what potentially out of reach for a game to send us to a game five. But anything can happen. Connor's still got 12 seconds left. Pool Boy's got the red here. He should um, make sure he uses this right here to hopefully get a stun here and snuff out anything. Or he'll just uh, save it for next game, I guess. Either way, he takes it home. Oh, uh, this is a new interesting that. goal. Will Connor change maps or will he just run it back? I know Connor's a big Palace believer, but I think with how well he played and how well he was chipping, um, I, it's hard for me not to see that whether he's going to underground um, or a map like that. I think that's... I mean, that's, I mean that's, it worked obviously very well for him. Um... And yeah, we'll 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 just see. I'm excited. Um, cool boy, I think made the adjustment to take take more shots, make sure he's getting knocked off. Didn't turn the ball over as much. Um, and yeah, and I think that, that that paid off for him. Just having more items in general is always a good thing. We're heading to the underground for a game five. Another tough place to chip. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not it's not extremely friendly, but you're able to get them off much easier than Palace. So. It'll be, um, I, I think we'll see uh, Rose them getting a, a healthy amount of goals here. Yep. And wow, what a block. I think that was going in if uh, Pool Boy didn't get his uh, toad in front. And yeah. a smart idea to know that uh, Connor's on two uh, items to go back and hit the toad into the fence. He's able to kind of maneuver around these shells here. Got to get a shot up, though. Great shot there, but let's see if Connor the, can... the only item that Pool Boy got was the uh, the shroom and no shells to return a uh, response item for the Reds. But Connor not able not being able to connect on the the lob gave Pool yeah. Boy the breakaway chance. Oh, trying to outplay the Blues. Almost did it. But I guess kind of did. Got stuck in his own player. So Connor took the it's ball good. and then probably spoiled it right back from him. Um, let's say that that was on purpose. And let's also say that that wasted mushroom was on purpose, too. Um, <laughs> oh, there's a the, goal. The, the, the deep angle that Pied likes, which is... Uh, I think Pool Boy calls it the Pied line. But uh, I refuse to give Pied that much credit. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, let's I'm see. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let's see what Connor's got. Oh, using the bomb with the off-screen toe by accident. That's painful. Not punished for it. Um, not thought of losing a bomb, but let's see. Your good aggressive item use. I I like that. You look to force Connor to burn an item here, and still get the shot off. Oh, unlike using triple reds by the uh, the fence is always risky because once they bounce, they don't have homing anymore. Everything was cool. Like, yep. Here we go. And there, and that's just what a clinical lot. finish there by Connor. Um, exactly, use the shells to create space and then hit your lob. Cool. Uh, Venice went out just as he was getting get unlucky there for Pool Boy, but he's able to get a nice dribbling move here and then gets blocked by his own toad. Settles for just a weak shot from the corner. Hit a little early on that hit there, um, giving Connor the item. Which Connor immediately burns is able to get Daze into a kind of a dangerous position here. He's passing the ball around. Oh, let's see if Pool Boy likes to use the items here. Yep, hits him oh, right he before. Does. He's um, put the chip. Unlucky he was a little far out on that one. Okay, so don't forget to put the back of the. Good response out in there by uh, Connor to immediately kind of pop that one off there. Wants to keep her. And again, uh, Connor, which is interesting, like he's going to the fully charged uh, stuns there, which is, uh, I know that normally he prefers to not fully charge them, just generally because you have less end lag. Um, but uh, I guess he's just making an adjustment now. Maybe Pool Boy's forcing him to play off his game. And there's another turnover by Connor and that Pool Boy's forcing. And a beautiful deep. Let's see if Connor's going to force the room out. No, he's not. But Pool Boy's going to make him pay. There goes in. Go. It's the goal he needs. Who is going to watch this thing kind of bouncing? Is that off of Critter? Oh, that's heartbreaking. I think it's off the back of Critter. Just stuck behind the Critter there. Good boy, farming out items here. 
and hitting himself with his own items, as to be expected. And it's in a corner shot there. Connor, electing not to use that item defensively, um, Fullboy been extremely aggressive with the items that we saw with those shells right there, which has worked out more often than not, but this is one of those knots. Um, and Connor still holding that shroom here. Let's see if he's going to use it now, or he's just going to take the oh, the insta from the, the corner, which is a beautiful attack right there. It still gets blocked. No. Wow. Uh -huh. Good item to switch there. Um, yeah, it was a great item switch there, recognizing that he oh, couldn't do anything with the shroom, which is to banana and forces uh, Blue Boy to pay. And so this is not where you want to be with a minute and a half left and forcing uh, being down an item disadvantage. It forces you to play a lot differently, and Connor is taking advantage. What a dribble. I don't know what that dribbling move was, and I don't know why Critter came out that far, but it would have been beautiful. What oh, good pass. Was he going to put the chip? Oh, a little too close there in that chip. Yeah, Connor, uh, good, good job by Fulloy to pressure Connor to make sure he didn't get comfortable. And Connor going for the instas. I love to see it. He had he had the open stop and decided to go for the insta anyways. Uh, just as I was about to say, Fulloy had finally survived the uh, item onslaught. He is back down to being down triple with triple reds. Connor is Connor going to go for the stun. He's not going to go for the stun. He's going to go for the corner chip and not get it. Yeah, now we're back to seeing Coolboy do these long passes as he's getting a little bit more desperate for a goal, and the turnovers are coming back. Coolboy needs some quick instant offense here. Let's see if he's going to be, and he gets it. And it looks like Connor hit him in the back. So let's see how we he'll let you use his chomp. You've got to use it pretty quickly here because uh, you need two goals. He needs two to force sudden death. Beautiful release to get this. Oh, and he uses the chomp to try to oh take advantage of the stun critter. Oh, oh that, was that lava almost right goes there. in. That's unlucky for Cool Boy. I I like the idea. Um, you were you really needed to score on that opportunity, so you might as well just chomp and hope it works out for yourself. But yeah, uh, at the same time, it's uh it's painful to see. And that was I mean that was the clinical execution of how to get the stun there though without the um the full charge. Connor is passing around there, playing up the motions. We played yeah, some, uh, and looks like Connor is going to take this game 4 to 1, or this series at least. Um, normal play by both players, I think. Uh, Connor really showed us offensively why he's uh, been a, such a, like, a, a revelation.